Hey, Katie. Returning to the scene of the crime. What crime? When Carlson busted us for smoking, don't you remember? Uh, yeah, that, that was the, the whole point, Brian. We weren't smoking. Oh, well, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, do you, uh, do you smell something? Actually, it's weird lately. I haven't really been able to smell much of anything. Uh, it's, it's like, um, spray paint, maybe? Well, Sherlock, you do hang out with an artist who carries paint around. Is that crazy or what? Okay, um, just careful with that stuff, okay? Oh, yeah, I know. You light a match around this and whoosh. Okay, um, look, I was talking to Jamie, and, uh, he thinks, well, he's a total dimwit, but, um, I just, I told him I'd ask you, um, you haven't been huffing, have you? <laughs> of course you have. I haven't. I know, I, I told him. Yeah, but why would you think that? Nothing. We were just kind of worried. Like, he was just worried. You know, because I, I what? Worried. Because I carry around paint? Because I forget a few things? Look, he, j he just thought I should ask you just to be a good friend, you know? Oh, is that what friends do? You're not a drug addict, are you? Why don't you save the intervention for someone who needs it? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I, I only wanted to... You know, you're starting to think like Carlson yourself. Maybe I should turn myself into him, huh? And while I'm in his office, I'll nominate you as anti-drug student of the year. Okay, look. I don't want to hear it, Miss Nark. Stupid suspicions just ruined a friendship. Did you talk to me? Like a maroon. Look, Brienne is just different, okay? Jamie, that doesn't make her what you said. What about all this stuff? Oh, you mean all the evidence? Oh, just like um the evidence that Carlson used to give us detention? <sighs> you have been infected by the goody-goody squad, Jamie, okay? So just do us all a favor. Just butt out of everyone's life, okay? Especially mine. What was that all about? Yeah, you don't want to know. You'll be all right, man. More help's here. Hey, Val, Tyler. He's already here. Look, I brought a scanner so I can know what's going on. What is this, like, code three, code four? Uh, Harmon, uh, we're gonna need you out of the way. Yeah, sure. Uh, um, you know, he's kind of wheezing, so could that be emphysema? Maybe he's a smoker, or... Wait, he's a jogger. Why would he be smoking? But then again, people do stupid things all the time, so... Do I have emphysema? Oh, you know what? Val. Might be something else. Maybe he picked up some bug without even no, knowing it. Lung sounds the fine. Taiwan flu or black water disease. Right. Harmon, you can't get in the way like this. You need to let us do our job. Okay. You know what? You might have to intubate it if he's going into it. Harmon, leave us alone. Go bother your own friends. You guys are my friends. I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but he was scaring the patient. Well, he means well, obviously, but we can't let him obstruct a call. But he needs to get a life. Well, I think that's what he thought he was doing by hanging around with us. Well, if we can't beat him, Maybe we should make him join. What, you mean like bring him along on a call? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's... No, recruit him for EMS training. He can start answering questions instead of just asking them. Then he'll know as much as we do, and he can drive himself crazy. Well, it's worth a try, but if it doesn't work out, you can't unrecruit him. If Harmon passes the test, then he's part of the <laughs> squad. Whoa, 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 Hank, Hank, look. Uh, hypothetical. Shoot. Okay, so you got this friend uh, who's maybe getting high, like sniffing aerosols and stuff, but you have another friend who swears that the first friend is clean. This wouldn't happen to be the friend that you and Katie were arguing about yesterday, right? 
I'll handle it. Hey, you'd, you'd better, man. Come on. Take a seat. Paint, correction fluid, aerosol cans. Right, they all have fumes that mess with your brain. Some people start seeing things, others start forgetting things. They can screw up your balance, eyesight, hearing, sense of smell. They also starve your lungs and can throw off your heartbeat, sometimes stopping it completely. You ever hear of sudden sniffing death syndrome? Wow. You know, the big problem is kids on inhalants don't think that they're doing drugs. So what are you going to do for your friend? Fight the power! Oh, what a joke. Plaster the school with posters and I get two people. Three. What? Who? What do you mean? You? Oh, right. Oh, well, thanks, guys. I missed you, Pam. We thought there'd be guys here. Jamie, you're still here. I didn't realize you liked school so much. Yeah, listen, have you seen Brianna around anywhere? I've been looking for her all day. She made up that missed attention by spending the day with me. She left a little while ago. I think she was headed to the art room. Now? I gotta go, Mr. Carlson. Give me a nice call. Mm-hmm. Nicole's here? She just dropped and started convulsing. Yeah. You need a bite stick and suction. We don't want her to ask break. I don't know if it means anything, but I found this on the floor. I mean, she's been huffing. I should have done something. I told Katie I should have tried to stop her. Okay, Jamie, we need the heart monitor now. That's an IV, oral airway, and DVM standing by. Convulsions are stopping. Pulse is 140, thready and erratic. Rests are six and shallow. If he's 90 over 50. GCS is seven. She's crashing. Okay, you bag her up, start the IV. Come on, man. Gotta hang in there, please. Please. Okay, we need a cardio burn. How is she? There's so many to find out. <sighs> can't believe this. No, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Should have believed it. <laughs> so busy fighting the system. I didn't see someone who needed help right under my nose. Nobody wants to believe the worst about their friends. She was really in trouble. <laughs> For who knows how long. You know. She really, she really needed me, and I was totally clueless. Katie, she still needs you. Don't waste your energy beating yourself up. Hey. Well, the doc says she's gonna be okay. She can see us for a minute. Come on in. The doctor says I'll be fine if I don't ever huff again. We can help. You have been helping. I was just too much of a shovel head to notice. Can I ask a 
a question about obstructed airways. Yeah, go ahead. What if your patient has hiccups? Then she's breathing. But what if they won't stop? Can excessive hiccuping lead to gastrointestinal problems? I always hiccup when I laugh. <laughs> and I'm worried that this could maybe weaken my system and make me vulnerable to all kinds of things. Bronchitis, emphysema, black water fever. Go ahead, Armin. Uh, we do live in a global village, and it is possible to contract such diseases. But here's why I don't think you have to worry about that. See, the chromosomes in the part Look of the who's the voice of reason? You called it, Brooke? The other one. I think Harmon's finally met his match. Peace off, Raylan. What? For my, uh, treating you pretty shabby. You want the max for Brienne. Even when you have this loudmouth campus radical hassling you about it. So I take it you're not done agitating for reform? No. Kind of like being a blister on the heel of the system, you know? I'm glad you don't give up that easy. I'm glad you don't either. Oh, <laughs>